Hey guys, I'm gonna make a quick video for you today. Um, about four years ago now, I guess it is, I did a video where I shot um, soft body armor, ballistic panels with um, all different types of uh, handgun rounds from the 22 all the way up, 22 long rifle all the way up to 44 Magnum, uh, 12 gauge, double alt buck, that matter. And it, it was a level two vest that I had picked up at a gun show, for, oh man, 20, 25 years ago. It's been a while. And um, it was old then. And a lot of y'all don't know, maybe some of y'all aren't familiar with ballistic, like body, soft body armor like I wear at work. Um, they actually have a, here's a panel. Here's actually the rear panel of that one that I used in that video about four years ago. Um, they actually have shelf life. Um, they have a issue date and um, general rule of thumb, about five years uh, we replace ours. I've got a new vest coming now actually at work. My old vest is uh, five years old so we replace them about every five years and a lot of that has to do with wear and tear how much you wear it I mean some can go longer um, not to say that the vest will completely fail after five years but um, that's generally rule of thumb what they re we replace them at and um, like I say this is actually the back panel off of that vest I used in that test the front pedal was just shot all to pieces um, the only round that penetrated and I knew it would was the 44 Magnum and as you can see the 44 Magnum here's a this is the rear panel, so the 44 Magnum round went through the front and the rear panel on this, uh, this is a level 2, 2A, I'm sorry, 2A vest, which is about the minimum that you'll see law enforcement wearing. Um, you guys can go to the NIJ standards and see what level 2A is rated for, but it's got a few examples on here. Uh, 357 Magnum, uh, 158 grain jack, jacket is soft point, or the 9mm 124 grain full metal jacket, this is rated to stop. So, um, but um, my current issue is a level 2. And it's, it's a little bit better than the 2A, and then up to 3A, it goes on up. But um, uh, anyways, like I said, I've had a few uh, comments lately on that video and one on a, a video where I, on the Celtic PMR-30 here, which is in 22 Magnum. The guy was saying about the 20, about a, about a hot little round the 22 Magnum was, how it um, could uh, punch through soft body armor. Cops didn't like 22 Magnums because, you know, it could penetrate body armor. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't think they will. At least not uh, what I'm, what I wear. I don't believe it will. But um, he was insisted upon it that it would, that it would. So I happen to have this piece of body armor left here, and like I say, this is level 2A, which is minimum for what uh, most officers would wear. Um, it does have a hole in it already from the 44 Magnum, but it's got plenty of space here that's not. And like I say, this vest is. I mean, it's been compromised. There's a hole in it. It's 20 plus years old. It's out of date per se. It's shelf life, but. Um, I'm gonna strap it up on the board back here and we're gonna shoot it with the uh, 22 Magnum. Um, just to see, you know, he was adamant. I don't think it will. But, um, and I got the hottest stuff I've got as far as 22 Magnum, these uh, CCI Maxi Mags. And um, as far as 22 Magnum go, these are hot, hot as fire. 2,200 feet per second. So, um, 22 Magnum can penetrate this vest. I believe these will be these Maxi Mags. So anyways, I'll get it set up back here and we'll put a few rounds into this vest and we'll see if that 22 Magnum can penetrate. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got the uh, ballistic panel there duct taped to that board and the duct tape doesn't offer any ballistic uh, protection in case I hit the tape. But um, uh, I got two rounds of the CCI Maxi Mags loaded up, ready to go. I'm going to shoot from a realistic, I mean, if I uh, involve shooting, if you're going to get shot, most of the time it's pretty up close and personal. I'm going to be about maybe 10 feet away and uh, put two rounds in. Let's see if that vest will stop these. Get her loaded up. See what happens. All right, let's see how we did. I shot one to the right, one to the left, and you can see it really deforms that vest. It'll buck all up and crunch up when it's hit, but I don't know. Let's take a look. Let me grab the panel down. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. Yeah, all right. One round went in roughly, one round, one round went in roughly right there just under the 44 Magnum. And there may be some tears, tearing there. 
let me get my knife and um because the plant the panel is definitely ripped that could be from rubbing on the uh could be from rubbing on the on the board but i don't know if it penetrated let me see we'll take this off all right here's where the round went in you can see where it penetrated and there's where it tore but the panel itself i can feel it right there there's a lump that round is still in there it's right there matter of fact i feel it between my fingers so it didn't penetrate the ballistic fiber and the second one went in right there and let me pull this back some more there's a little bump right there I can feel it so the round is still still in there so uh, those are some 2200 feet a second hot uh, 22 magnum rounds uh, they went it they did penetrate some but they're stuck inside the vest there so uh yeah did didn't go through so i guess that i mean there's nothing scientific about this test but at least for my uh, liking like i said this is an old 20 plus year old vest it's expired it's a uh, level 2a which is minimal um already compromised from a 44 magnum hit but and that round actually hit no more than an inch below where the 44 magnum hit and it did not penetrate it i can feel it i'm gonna try to dig them out here I'm going to turn the camera off because it might take a little bit. I'm going to dig these rounds out and let you look at them because they feel deformed. It's pretty cool feeling. So um, I'll be right back. Let me get it, uh, get them dug out of there. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, real quick before I get back there. Look at here. Look at these indentions in the wood. That would have hurt. That is about a quarter inch deep indention. Uh, those two rounds put in that two, uh, two by four, uh, in that plywood there. That would have hurt. That blunt force trauma would not have felt good. But, um, all right, I'm going to take this back there and we're going to cut those rounds out and take a look at them. All right, be right back. All right, guys, got the vest back over here on the on my four wheeler sitting on the seat here. And um, this here is just the cover. I've ripped it off. And uh, here's the actual, have y'all seen what a ballistic panel looks like on the inside with all the covers off? But see, it's all frayed on the ends for me ripping it. But um, there's the round, there's one of them had to dig for a little bit that material is tough I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out actually I um, let's see here there it is a very nice very nice expansion whoops sorry kind of got a mushroom shape rounded but expanded very nicely but yeah penetrated that vest penetrated that vest pretty good um, as I took I had to take it apart it's basically in two main there's two main, best I can tell, two main panels here. I mean, it's all individually, individual little layers, layer after layer after layer, if you can see that right there. Just layer after layer after layer. But um, it looks like two main compartments. And the round penetrated to the back of the first compartment and just dented the second. So I would say halfway through this vest, that little 22 round, very impressive. The other one's still in. It's right there. I hadn't dug it out yet. But um, very impressed with that little... Uh, 22 magnum round um so there's the video um it did better than i thought it would if i remember correctly from my last videos when i used these vests shooting it with all the even heavier bigger rounds like 38 uh, 40s 9 millimeter i don't remember a lot of them penetrating i remember some of them just de de like detenting deforming and falling into the bottom of the uh that um piece of that you just saw me remove i remember having a bunch of those inside the little cover but um this one actually penetrated so uh very impressed with this round but uh didn't get all the way through would not have been a lethal it would have hurt like heck but did not penetrate but would have hurt like the devil so um anyways i hope the guy that um, made that comments watching the video uh that's a hot 22 magnum round i mean that's 2200 feet a second those maxi mags was cooking but did not penetrate this uh level two vests but um anyways guys i appreciate you watching the video y'all have a good one